BMW asked about who would be the best artist to capture their brand, which is aesthetic and the speed, the beauty and the speed. And I thought about Elena Manfardini as the best artist to capture their aesthetic campaign. So I wanted to ask Elena Manfredini how she interpret this place, space, and then the uh, campaign of a BMW, and this became the most one of the most successful uh, campaigns they have done, which as the first project of abstract, uh, explaining about the car behind the beauty and the space. So I wanted to toast to Elena Manfredini how she interpreted and then reapply the BMW speed and the aesthetic to this certain space. So I'm handing over to Elena Manfredini so she'll talk about uh, the space. Thank you. I, I thought the most interesting part about um, the idea of movement is that it changes our way of looking at things. Um, if you drive, um, the world around you changes, it changes the way in which you perceive it because of the velocity of your body in space. And so I wanted to interpret the city around us and how we look at them in different ways while we drive. Because in a way, um, it's always difficult for an architect uh, trying to interpret movement that comes with the motion. Whereas architects and artists in general work with something that is still, that is fixed in space. And so the project really wanted to look at facade of buildings, a cluster of buildings, and how through the movement of the body to it, you can actually see things getting blurred. Um, and so you can see in the uh, facades that are windows and colorations that are blurring boundaries of our visions. The floors become uh, facades, um, the roof disappears. And so the idea is that the car and the city are one and they're part of our experience. So not by chance um, the car is not present, it's present in the sound, it's present in the video, but somehow it's a movement of the human body in space that captures the idea of aesthetic and movement. Um, also, I think um, it's important to talk about technology when you talk about BMW. I think everybody relates to uh, this brand as being one of the most technologically advanced piece of um, equipment that you can ever buy in your life, is your car. And I think everything of these paintings, of these facades, are scripted with a computer. It's actually um, a quite sophisticated way to produce these drawings, these paintings, and they're digitally printed. And the idea is that we, I wanted to embody the idea of technology and performance as well into the methodology of making of these facades. And so part of it is the idea of the movement, part of it is the idea of the aesthetic, but I think also the idea of technology, which I think is such a big part of a brand like um, BMW. Mm. Elena, so what did you think about aesthetics and speed? It's kind of a strange word to say aesthetics and speed, but I think it was successfully interpreted. So what did you think of when they said aesthetics and speed? I think the idea of um, repetition came out of the idea of movement and speed. As you can see, almost all the facades uh, are based on the idea of grids and elegant lines, which I think are one of the ways in which a point becomes a line through movement. And so the idea was to repeat these elements of um, these elegant lines all through the um, building so that we become a field that moves with their vision. And I think somewhat I want also to interpret the idea of elegance of the brand, which I think is part of what makes um, a BMW recognizable as a BMW. There are differentiation between the different cars, but you can still find that there is a connection between the line that connects one, the first BMW, to the contemporary ones. So I think that um, the level of stability, I think, of the firm um, is part of the way in which I interpreted the idea of urbanity around the car. I think it's a really successful campaign because uh, there is no car here, but people feel there is a movement in this booth. So I think the BMW aesthetic campaign with elegance was a very successful one. Thank you. Thank you.